name's Gerald Harley. I'm Vice President of Product Development with AudioQuest. Steve Silverman. I'm Steve Silverman. I'm uh, Vice President of Development. And uh, Joe and I and a number of other people at AudioQuest want to introduce you to, to Dragonfly. Dragonfly is uh, a USB uh, digital to audio converter that's uh, this size. It's actually the size of a, of a USB stick and uh, an amazing piece of technology. It's uh, also an analog preamplifier. It's got a 64 position analog mic control built into it. And you can play your headphones through this. You can either run a cable to your system, uh, 3.5 mini jack to two RCAs, or you can plug a headphone into the jack in the back and, uh, and run your headphones or earbuds through Dragonfly. It's an amazing piece of technology in a very small package. Okay, if you notice when Dragonfly is plugged in and active, it's going to display a color across the Dragonfly lens. So right now we're displaying uh, green for 44.1 kilohertz. But if I change the MIDI to 48, then you see the Dragonfly changes to blue. If we run it up to 88.2, you'll see that we have amber. And then if you take it to 96, you get a magenta. So if you have files that are beyond 96 kilohertz, your computer can downsample them. So if you have 192 files, you can downsample them, sample them to 96K. If you've got 176.4 kilohertz files, you can download those or downsample those to 82. So I'm going to start a uh, song for you in 1644. And then what I'll do is I'll jump to a song that's 96 kilohertz. And you'll notice we'll go from green to, to magenta. software along with iTunes. Um, iTunes won't adjust the outgoing music to match the sample rate of the file. So we can add on things like Amara or Pure Music or Audio Vana, or we can switch to a Windows operating system and use something like JRiver. Those programs not only switch the sample rate to match the file, but they also give you better sound. <laughs> 